Hey, no. do you want any onions? <laughs> no! Why not? Because I have you. You're an onion now. So a few months ago, uh, a study came out. It suggested that rats who were exposed to onions, and specifically onion juice, uh, had a really big increase in serum testosterone and their libido, sex drive, muscular mass, and other metrics improved. That caused a massive tsunami of information and discussions and uh, random different fitness boards, bodybuilding, communities and CrossFit communities and even endurance communities opting in for that and just trying to experiment if onions and specifically one onion a day which is more or less what would you know rats consume for their smaller bodies relatively transported into what humans would consume and uh, there are lots of different outputs for that where there is a lot of different anecdotal evidence where people actually would increase their testosterone based on their blood work but what I did a few months ago, I was trying to do exactly that and just as a, an experiment, like a personal tale, just trying to see if it actually works as it's supposed to. I spent around 20 days uh, introducing one onion a day, uh, usually chopped raw and consuming it and trying to see if you know that would actually drive my testosterone production and uh, kind of like try to see if blood metrics would actually increase or improve. <sighs> Smells ooh, strong, sharp. And that's 83, that's just one gram or so more than I need to, but I think that's gonna be plenty. Just some extra information. I don't ever eat that much onion. I think at most maybe I would eat that much, just like one slice. Now about how to consume them easily. So as you can see, I have a plate. Uh, I'm currently cooking some meat alongside with the salad with a few olives. And that's like a couple of handfuls for me. It's a big plate. And you can see that that's one sliced onion, my daily intake for this experiment. So what I do, I take a cup or something along those lines and try to separate onions throughout the day. So let's say I might be eating just this much with my meat so it doesn't overwhelm with the taste and leave the other part for maybe dinner or later in the day as a snack. In that case I kind of like space it out and don't overwhelm my stomach um, with this material because there are quite a few side effects, at least reported, not even myself, but people report like mass amount of gas and uh, stomach disruption and things of that nature, even if the uh, onions are quite good and highly anti-inflammatory. So the question is, what goes on and on with I in the middle? Your favorite thing? We are playing a question game. Goes on and on. Mm -hmm. With an I. Do you give up? No! It's my favorite thing. What are my favorite things? Well, forget about the favorite thing. I don't know, a clock. Are you, do you give up? Yeah. I will hate you on that. It's an onion. Oh, no, it it's makes perfect. sense why you got the camera out. I guess what's a big deal about it? This is dedication. Somebody has brought a whole kilo of onions 
to our holiday so that he could keep eating an onion a day. Well, experiment is an experiment, so consistency is the key, you know? Even <laughs> if it's, we're having a holiday away in a hotel. <laughs> so, I even brought my knife just so I could eat onions. We That's just, how dedicated. We just came upstairs from having dinner and now he's gonna eat an onion. Oh god. Are you gonna bite into it? Yeah, I'm just gonna be a man. I'm gonna chase down some water. Oh god. But... An onion a day keeps the doctor away. An onion a day keeps the ladies away. That's true too. There we go. Another day, another onion sliced. It's kind of easy to consume your vegetable intake you just by slicing onions and having some side salad. And you know, it's, it's a challenge to eat it on its own, especially if it's a white onion or some other strains which are quite potent in their taste. So yeah, let's eat it. So now you might ask, was it a success? Was the experiment actually worth it? What's the blood work like? So, before the experiment, I tested my testosterone and it was at 19 nanomillimoles. Now, this was due to me being injured, so naturally testosterone goes down if your activity level, levels are quite low or moderate, like mine were. And so, it wasn't as high up as it used to be. However, because of the onion consumption, which is was the only variable which changed in my diet and lifestyle at that point. The resulting testosterone in my bloodstream, which is free serum testosterone, was at 21 nanomillimoles, which it's not significant enough. However, for some people it could be. So for me, for example, because I was a bit sedentary at that point, I couldn't run, let's say, I couldn't push my body through that stress, the testosterone remained similar to what it used to be, however, because I was supporting and trying to improve the hormone levels, the endocrine system levels with the diet and specifically onions, it still kept it slightly bit higher than it used to be just before starting the experiment for just 20 days. I guess one of the biggest takeaways is that it obviously has its own use it definitely restricts the show social life, as you've seen in one of those funny situations in, let's say, a hotel, because I followed the structure to the A, to the letter, religiously, as I usually do with these experiments, trying to check all the variables available. So, if you think your testosterone could improve, if you think you can boost it up a little bit, maybe some of the natural remedies and diet is one of the things to do so. And as you can see, based on my anecdotal n equals one just my personal outtake and personal results it boosted the free testosterone by two nano minimals and just you know the healthy range for adult my age my activity levels my body weight is between eight and i think 28 and i'm at 21 ish meaning it always could be higher it could be lower and, and that's totally fine as long as you're in that range and depend on your activities you can perform better or worse or it really depends so if you think you want to do it uh, go ahead and do so uh, but just remember a few caveats i mentioned before and if you like this video give a like subscribe share with your friends and thanks for watching it really appreciate it and until next time